Hello everyone, this is EB the Sponge Reviewer here, and today I'm here to give you guys another episode review on Camp Coral, SpongeBob's Under Years. And today I'm here to review episode 20, um, Helter Shelter and Reveille Revolution. Now, I would like to inform you guys that this episode has not aired in the US as of right now, but it was actually, um, it was probably airing on some different parts of the country or uh, different parts of the world right now but this episode did actually air somewhere else in the in the region so that's how I'm able to review this episode a bit earlier than usual so um in the episode Helter Shelter um SpongeBob, Patrick and Sandy are g taken to different cabins when um their little square dance incident accidentally injured Squidward so because of Squidward's injuries, um, SpongeBob, Patrick, and Sandy has to go to different camp bunkers until he recovers. And there's, there's, there's a running gag in this episode where SpongeBob, Patrick, and Sandy just kept crying because they will miss each other. And I thought that was pretty all right, I guess. But yeah. And, um, I, I think the, I think the best moments of this episode are the characters actually getting a hang of their new camp bunkers. Like SpongeBob was with Miss Upturn, um, Sandy was with um, Larry and his gang of of muscle bodybuilders, and Patrick was with Bubble Bass and his nerd friends, and yeah. So because of them getting used to their new cabins, um, everyone gets sick and tired of them trying to act like them, so they basically kick them out of their cabins. And so, yeah, so that's basically what the episode was, is just them going to different camp bunkers. This episode was pretty all right, I guess. I mean, I, will, I wouldn't say it was anything special or anything, but there were some funny moments in the episode, but I wouldn't say it was groundbreaking. So the next episode is Reveille Revolution. And in this episode, um, Squidward um's job is to wake up the campers in the morning with his clarinet, but because he's so bad at it, um, an anchovy who plays um, the, the camp um, wake up fanfare music thing. He plays it on a trumpet and he basically gets all of the attention, um, which makes Squidward very jealous. So SpongeBob basically um, compliments Squidward for his clarinet playing. And then, the, yeah, so this basically this episode is Squidward trying to prove that he he's the waker upper of the camp and he's the one who's supposed to wake everyone up in the morning, but not the anchovy. But yeah, this episode was actually really funny because there's actually a part in the episode where um the anchovies um grabbed the outhouse and took it above Bikini Atolls, and there was this part where this where where a ferry boat came in and we had these live action actors in the boat just booing at them. It was really funny. Like, that, that was a really funny part of the episode, and I really enjoyed that part. But yeah, overall, um, Reveille Revolution was, it was pretty f decent. I mean, it did have some really funny moments of the episode with that ferry boat. But yeah. All right, so that's my review on uh, Helter Shelter and Reveille Revolution from Camp Coral. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the review, and... Don't worry, you guys, there is going to be another review coming out later tonight because there is a new episode of SpongeBob SquarePants, which is going to be on Ma and Pa's Big Hurrah, which I've actually teased in the previous um, episode review I did on, on on the Patrick Star Show. So be on the lookout for that review later tonight at, at around 7, 11 or something around those around those times. Um, the, the review should be out later tonight. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.